Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a little vlog for you guys. I'm at home. I'm just gonna do some studying today. So it's not gonna be a very exciting day, but I have something to show you. So that's why I thought I would vlog today. So yesterday was the launch in Norway for the new iPhone XS and XS Max and XR or something. And I have the XS. Ooh! I got it yesterday and I'm so excited for it. Um, so I just thought that I would show you a little bit of, I don't know, the differences. I'm not very good at phones and stuff like that. I don't have a lot of knowledge about it. But I thought it would be fun just to show you if I'm happy about it, um, having it for one day. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, <clears throat> here I have both my iPhone um, 8 and the iPhone XS. Uh, so this is the size difference on them. Uh, so it's a little bit, the XS is a little bit taller. Um, it's a little bit bigger and the screen is obviously a lot bigger. So you can see the difference if I put down the screen here. Look at the difference. That's just insane. So I love that this has a um, bigger screen. Uh, it's a little bit heavier, I feel. This is a little bit heavier than this one. Um, but I don't mind it. <clears throat> it's not like it's very heavy. Uh, it feels very good. And yeah, I got the gold um, color because I thought I was so pretty and I have the rose gold I think in the 8 so this is the difference on the color you see my camera I thought that when you had the face ID you would see yourself in like the camera and that it would like yeah you would see yourself uh, but you don't it just uh, it's blurry and then it just opens when it's it's your little, 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 when it recognizes your face, which is very good. Um, so a difference that I've uh, obviously noticed is the camera. The front camera is so much better. Um, I feel like this is more like grainy on the iPhone 8 and on the iPhone. XS it is more smooth um, so I'm gonna take a picture of myself on the iPhone 8 and then on the iPhone XS and then show you the difference okay so here they are um, this is the iPhone 8 photo and this is the iPhone XS photo so um, I feel like the colors are much more uh, real in this photo and not in this photo and I feel like the lighting uh, I think this is actually something that they um, that they talked about when I launched the iPhone XS is that the colors are when the light hits and stuff like that it's much more natural and uh, yeah it just looks how it is supposed to look and yeah it's just way more real which I totally agree on and I just feel like the pictures get so much better and I actually tried to take a photo of uh, the lights that we have in this room yesterday and <coughs> you can see like on the iPhone 8 you have a lot more um, of the like reflecting from the lights in it which uh, and on the iPhone 8 no, and on the iPhone XS you don't have as much of that, you just... It looks like when you actually look at the light in the photo, if that makes any sense. Um, also, I'm just gonna uh, share the screen with you and... Um, just uh, from the iPhone XS and show you... If you go to the portrait type of um, setting on the camera, you can change how the background looks. So if I take a photo of myself now... Um, you can change the 
depth on the background so you can have it like very blurry and just the motive in focus or you can have the background less blurry which I think is really cool and I think you can get like a lot of beautiful photos um, if you're a youtuber or an instagrammer or uh, stuff like that um, I think that is very helpful for people that works with social media um, it makes it look so much more professional you don't have to bring with you a camera all the time you can just take with you your phone which I think is very nice um, I also feel like the screen is uh, much better I think there's a difference between the screens I feel like this is more full of life like it gives me more colors than the um, iPhone 8. I don't know. I guess you can't see it. It's dif difficult to see. Um, but it just, this looks more uh, washed out and this looks more like full and full of life. I mean, I guess it can look like that because of the background as well. Like I have a more uh, dark background here and here I have a lighter background, but I actually think it's a difference there. The back camera is much better. I think I'm gonna take a photo and show you that as well. Putting it up uh, to each other, it's just... I just think it looks more real. Like, as you can see on the colors, uh, it's so much lighter on the iPhone 8, but on the iPhone XS it's more like full and rich in color I don't know I don't know if that's even a thing I just feel like it is so the cameras are definitely something that I really think it's so much better on the iPhone XS which is so important for me because I take a lot of pictures on my iPhone especially when I work out take a lot of um, videos as well so that's very important for me I mean I guess it's a lot of other functions on this that I haven't gone through yet and that I'm gonna find out uh, while using it but that's just um, like the most important for me like the camera is the most important uh, the camera and the colors and also the bigger screen so that's what I've noticed um, in uh, 12 hours having this phone I'm very happy um, that I got it I'm so glad that I did an upgrade um, Please let me know is if there's anything you think that I should know about this phone because, I mean, obviously I'm not an expert and obviously there's few things that I care about uh, and that I look into straight away when I get a f new phone. So if there's anything more, please let me know. I've been up for two and a half hours now I think but I haven't been um, doing anything actually I've just been watching some YouTube videos because I'm obsessed but I think I'm gonna go and get some breakfast now because I'm starting to get hungry so tomorrow I'm going home and I'm gonna get my room all sorted out. I'm gonna go through all of my clothes that I have in my closet and see what I am gonna keep and what I'm gonna give away or uh, throw out. Uh, and oh, I'm not looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be so much work. And also I'm going to go through everything that I have in my room and bring it with me because now it's just a week until we are moving and I think I'm gonna film it if it's any interesting I don't know if it is but I'm gonna still do it because you want moving vlogs and that's a part of the moving out okay that we are doing a kiwi today some oats as usual if you're on a budget, oats are great. It's cheap and you have it for such a long time. And yeah, it's just great. So we're having some oats with some yogurt and then a kiwi on the side. Not the biggest breakfast because 
I don't know, I'm hungry, but I'm just, I just don't want anything, you know? So we're just taking it light and uh, then I'm gonna eat more when I feel like it. I just have to eat something now because when I study, I have to have food in my belly. I can't think and be productive without having food in my belly. That's just not how it works. So we need it. Great, so now we have food in our bellies. And the next thing that really works for me when I'm going to study is to just start with the assignment straight away. So don't look at, like, now I took a break from watching YouTube videos and stuff like that. And if I haven't got that break, I would just continue watching and just say, okay, one more video, one more video, one more video. And then it will be three hours later and I wouldn't have done anything. So it's very important for me to just, when I open my laptop now, I'm not going to watch YouTube videos. I'm just going to go straight to Word where I have my assignment and just go on straight away and start writing. <clears throat> so this assignment is not a big one, it's going to be 800 words. So I think I'm gonna do everything today. I don't think it will take me that long. Uh, the only thing is that uh, it's a grade. So usually we get like pass, no pass, but <clears throat> we get a grade on this one. It's an English assignment, by the way. Um, we're gonna rewrite re a text that we got and then talk about the coherence and cohesive not that I think it's interesting for you but I think it will take me approximately like two hours maybe three not sure it depends on um, how much research I research research I have to do I've already re rewritten the text so the only thing I have left is the analysis is that how you say it analysis I don't know uh, but I think that's gonna be okay don't think it will take me very long but I have to do a great job because I want a good grade in this on this so that's some tip for you guys eat breakfast or food before you start working so you don't uh, so we're not hungry and think about everything else than the assignment uh, then just start with it straight away don't watch anything don't do anything that can be distracting just start straight away with the assignment so that your head is on the right place and I like to do my whole assignments on the same day so I mean no matter if it's a uh, 2,500 words or if it's 800 I like to do everything in the same day I mean everyone's different so you may not feel like this is this works for you but I like to do it because um, I can be really focused and just uh, do anything everything at just in one day because I just want to get done and yeah I like to just work a lot of hours when I do. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do and I'll guess and I guess I'll see you when I'm done. Let's get started. done finally done with the assignment it actually took me longer than I thought it took me a little bit over three hours that's a long time for me but it was actually a pretty hard uh, assignment I thought it would be very easy but it was a lot of stuff that I didn't like understand how I was gonna put it in the assignment so yeah I don't even know if I have like, I think I have more words than I should have. And now my camera is soon out of power. Okay. So, yeah. Here it is. I have to get in my sources. But, yeah. It is only a two-page text. 
but so happy I'm done. I love everything that's done. I love getting things done just straight away when I get it. So yeah. Um, but my camera is blinking and I don't think I will film anything more today because uh, it's not so exciting. We are just gonna make some lasagna when my boyfriend gets home and then I think we're gonna go to the gym. Um, but yeah. I hope you liked this short vlog. I don't know if it was any interesting but I hope so. Um, give it a thumbs up if you like it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!